Homes live here. With Bayute. Find real and authentic properties using TrueCheck. Download the app or visit Bayute.com. As we come back to work after the summer, work and school, can the massive rise that we saw before the hot months for ultra high-end department, uh, high-end property continue. We are very pleased to be joined by Fibber Ahmed, who's the Director of Sales for Debizzle and Bayou. This morning, Fibber, good morning. Good morning, Brandy. How are you? I am well. Welcome back. Thank you. Same to you. I haven't seen you after your holidays. <laughs> no? Well, here we go. I'm hopefully shedding the holiday kilograms. <laughs> Not with a cake. Let's have a look at where we are with those ultra high end property sales. First up, how did they do over the, the summer months? Do the people who are in the market for a 10 million dirham villa or take off to Capri or are they still here buying? Interesting you'd ask me that. That's the first question I looked up um, when I was doing some study yesterday evening. Um, yes, there is always this. Um, conversation about the lull over the summer, it was interesting. I looked at a price by a bracket of 20 million dirhams and above transactions this year, especially the summer months, and compared it to last year, same time. And I was surprised to see there's almost above 60% increase in transactions across the entire year and in the summer months this year as compared to last year. So the appetite for high-end properties, apartments and villas, is very strong. Okay, I have some questions about that. Okay. Um, because, yes, if there was a sector that I thought would be on holiday um, and uh, and not worrying about, right, but I've got to be back in the office on Monday, that would be the sector. When you say 60% up, is that coming from a low base? Is it a case that there's only three or four of these villas on the market at any one time? So, interesting, in absolute value a number as well, uh, these are a lot more properties that transacted. Um, a very interesting mix is that last year for the 20 20 million dirham and above segment, we saw 60% apartment transactions. Whereas this year, we've seen 62 to 63% transactions in the villa communities. So yes, these people have the money and they are probably in Capri or if not in uh, Monaco. Um, they have made up their mind that they want to have a base in uh, the UAE, in Dubai, and they want a piece of a villa. Um, thanks to the newly announced communities over the last 12 months uh, by Imar and also um, by uh, Nakheel Pam Jablali, these two areas really stood out and had a lot of transactions um, in the segment of 20 million dirham um, and above. How much is that down to how much is available and when? Because, you know, one of the stories that we've heard from agents time and time again over the last couple of years is just that there's not, this just not the stock of this stuff. Um, that is correct because 70% uh, of these transactions are offline transactions. They are not for ready properties. These are not something that you can buy and live in it today. These are certainly uh, properties that are going to come into the market in the next three to four years. Uh, mind you, the two projects that I mentioned uh, very earlier on is um, are the ones that were announced not very uh, far in the um, time. They were recent launches, especially Oasis by Mar, I think about almost a year now. And they have started to come up with high end luxury uh, villa segments, which have garnered a lot of interest. So yes, they cannot buy and live today, but certainly um, uh, you will have plenty of that in the next two to three years. What are you expecting to see in the last four to five months of, of this year? What projects that you know about that are, that are coming up are going to serve this segment? What I've noticed, and especially if we look at this segment, there are certain areas that have um, really piqued interest um, of people that have a lot of money to dish out. Um, again, I'm going to touch base on the villa communities. Talal al -Ghaf, um has uh, come out as a very strong contender when we look at the data from Bayut.com in terms of searches, in terms of inquiries, in terms of where people are engaging and inquiring about how to go about purchasing that property. So I would say Talal al -Ghaf is an area to keep an eye on. Then um, you should also... Uh, always keep an eye on Palm Jumeirah. For some reason, that one is not moving from the top position because it has a variety of your penthouses, super luxury, um, branded residences by Omni Out. Um, they are garnering a lot of interest and they're going to continue to have a lot of um, traction. And my personal favorite is uh, the Canal near Safa Park. Um, beautiful properties there that have come up um, that have been announced and are transacting at a very healthy price point. 
it's interesting that you mention the the viewings that you can see. You can see what people are looking at on Absolutely. the Bayou platform. Yeah. To play devil's advocate, which is probably a very risky strategy with a show sponsor, <laughs> I would have thought that a lot of these properties at that kind of price point weren't even listed on a platform. They were the kind of stuff that, you know, you're, you're being shown stuff before it even comes to market. Correct. And um, Keep this in mind that over the years, Dubai has uh, built something for everyone. So the segment that you're probably talking about is the super duper ultra luxury um, A technical segment. term. <laughs> yes. That has been um, very, you know, specifically curated in terms of design, in terms of interior. That segment of the market still exists. But now with all the recent launches and all the investment announced and then listed, one segment that I would mention um, that has really picked up in terms of interest and prices is your very, very well-established community of Jamaica Islands. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there you would have seen uh, properties uh, go up by 62% in the last 12 months. And that shows that there is an appetite for ready properties. There is an appetite for future properties that come to the market. But villa segment is the place to look for when you have that much money to spend. There you go. Firva Ahmed, Director of Sales at Dubizel and Bayou, joining us this morning, uh, talking about what that high-end property segment has done over the summer months and a look forward. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you, Brandy.